going on YouTube? Double D, back here for another video for everyone. Um, today's topic is something I wanted to talk about for a while, and that is reality TV shows. Now, before we start this topic, I want to ask a general question to everyone. Do you believe a few years from now, do you believe reality TV shows will be normal? Will just be on every station, regardless of what it is? Just want you to think about that. Okay, let's get into this topic. Um, reality TV shows, we've all seen them. They're, they're everywhere, it seems like. If it's not on E, it's on MTV. It's not on MTV, it's on VH1. If it's not on that, it's on the History Channel, and so on and so forth. But I just want to get to a few reality shows that just really piss me off, or just... It, it just makes you think, why are people watching this? Like, I know they know it's stupid. It, it's just like my Mari video. It's a guilty pleasure. But you hate the show, but you watch it. Let's just get this first one out the way. Jersey Shore. Need I say no more. It's already been renewed for a fourth season. They're going to Italy this time around. You would think they would learn from season two not to make the Jersey Shore in Miami. It's called the Jersey Shore. We want to set in Miami for season two. And then you just got Snooky, that's just, we all know how she's acting. Ronnie and Sammy, Jay Wow, Paulie D, Mike the Situation, the new girl on there, Dina, that's just the ditziest girl I've ever seen in my life. Like, Jersey Shore, ugh. And then they're going to Italy? Like, damn. And then they're having a spinoff with Wow and Snooky. MTV. Y'all going downhill. In fact, y'all already are there. But we'll get to you guys later. Keep it up with the Kardashians. Kim, Chloe, Chris, and Kourtney Kardashian and her, and her families. We're all looking at them. But it makes you wonder, how did Kim Kardashian get this way? Ray J. We all know how that happened. And now, they got Courtney and Kim in New York. And I'll never forget when she was crying about that new shot of her. Kim, how did you get here? If it wasn't for Ray J leaking out that sex tape, that's the only reason you're relevant now. You ain't no actor, and you being paid for nothing. In fact, we'll get to that a little later. Um, what else other reality shows is out there? That that was out there. Date my mom. Uh, what else? We got for the love of Ray J. Oh yeah, for the love of Ray J. <laughs> that was the stupidest reality. I mean, the stupidest date show I've ever seen. You couldn't find not one girl to roll with. You was just like Flavor of Love. Remember Flavor of Love? And I ain't gonna lie, that was a guilty pleasure. Seeing that roach chair trying to find love. I mean, that wasn't gonna work out. But then you got the History Channel. Pawn Stars, Axemen, Ice Road, Truckers, and probably another show I can't remember. How is that part of history? And you gonna have history made every day. Oh yeah, American Pickers. That's not history. I don't care how much this is worth, it's super old. I don't care about people driving trucks in Canada and we're, we're going to see, do they get injured or something happen? What? So, so this is what the world is trying to stoop down to. Let's make shows dumb enough or dumb it down to the lowest common denominator. Because it seems that reality TV which is the real world reality it's not reality TV is just a way to make you think that oh this is what their lives are doing or this lives are doing and it is sad when you see stars get reality shows that's another thing like y'all mean some you're out of that much money and we have to look at your lives case in point the Hasselhoffs it lasted two episodes and it was cut from A and E. And then A and E, you're another one. Real life drama. True T V. Like when are all these stations just stoop low enough because they want ratings. 
That's all they care about. TLC and their Tallers and Sierras and their My Strange Addiction and their Cake Bosses. Like, <laughs> but I guess this is entertainment in America and the world is just gobbling it up. But the other thing is how these reality stars are being paid for nothing. Like, I think Kim K is being paid, I, I don't know, $6 million? Well, because she's got endorsements with Trim Spa and um, Quick Trim. Yeah, there we go. Come on now. And these reality TV shows, do they get famous for doing nothing. That's what it basically boils down to. They get famous for doing absolutely nothing. So, just to keep this video short, I want to hear your thoughts. What reality shows do you hate the most? And do you believe reality shows are slowly becoming normal? That every station is going to start airing them? Just because they're cheap to make and they'll get a lot of eyeballs. Later, everyone.